Let's make a back loop only slip stitch sample. You can chain any number of chains. A slip stitch, and here's the key to really keeping these nice and loose, is that you'll pull this up and kind of pull that back and then pull through. Insert your hook, yarn over, bring it up, and then pull it through. Slip stitches can get awfully tight, but they're so good for the ribbings on hats. Um, I like if you were making a baby sweater, you could do this for the wrist. In the last stitch, chain one very loosely. And let's work this one into the back loop only. Now, sometimes on the very first stitch, I will go ahead, if I'm making a hat, I'll work under both loops. Just make sure you bring that up with you. Bring it up above. Now let's work into the back loop. This is a tedious stitch. It doesn't go by very fast but it really gives a really great stretch to a project. On the last stitch, again, I enjoy working underneath both loops. This is personal preference, but I do think it looks a lot nicer if you're using this for the brim of a hat. Chain one and turn. Work under both those loops. Bring this up, keep it nice and loose. And there is your back loop slip stitch.